one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. From WFLA, Florida, the man at the center of a brutal arrest in Lakeland in December of 2022 has been arrested again by the same officer involved in that brutal incident. Antoine Glover was arrested by Lakeland police in 2022, and a video shows him being repeatedly hit in the face by Lakeland police detective Dylan Korn. Now at the time, Lakeland police chief Sam Taylor issued a statement saying, quote, we have decided it's prudent to place detective Dylan Korn and officers Anton Jefferson and Jason McCain on modified duty status effective immediately. Now, after the video surfaced, the state attorney dropped all charges against Antoine Glover. And now a new video shows Detective Korn arresting Glover again. This time, Korn's written report said Glover ran a stop sign and refused commands to get out of his car. For running a stop sign, he had to get out. <clears throat> Glover's uncle, who witnessed the recent arrest, said his nephew did nothing wrong. He says he ran up in the yard, but I'm saying he was in a seat belt, though and they yanking on him, and I'm telling him, no, let him get out. Now, that man identified himself as Pop Glover. Uh, Val Barron, with the Tampa Alliance Against Racism and Political Oppression, said Detective Korn is stalking and targeting Glover, which is possible, because he, you know, had all his charges dropped. Says, I think there is no reason Dylan Korn shouldn't have already been under investigation not just because of the Antoine Glover case, but also because of the Kiana Garrett case. Anytime we've seen cases of police brutality in Lakeland, Dylan Korn's name is behind it, says Barron. This is the in-car camera video before the, he's turning on the boulevard. Their overhead lights are on at this point. So he's already run the stop sign? Yes, he's already run the stop sign. That was not captured on the video. But they saw he didn't have a seat belt, and they saw that it was him. They knew he didn't have a driver's license, so they've got reason to stop him. His lights are on. He's creating his own way of traffic there. <laughs> you can see the lights reflecting in the trunk of the car. He's trying to put a seatbelt on his chest. Right there! No, pull over right there! Do not go any further! Do not go any further! He actually got out of the vehicle and tried to approach the vehicle. Pull him right here, he's gonna try to get the chart. Right here. All right, so that's the end car video. We'll show you the body cam video next. Pull it right here. He's going to try to get the car. Right here. Stop the car now. Stop the car. Stop the car. Stop, bro. Because you're 
Now Glover is now facing charges of running a stop sign, resisting arrest, and driving on a suspended license. <clears throat> so the question is, what happened in the Kiana Garrett arrest? Well, Kiana Garrett said she took pictures of her face in late December of 2023 after her arrest at a traffic light. They show a cut next to her eye and bruises. She says, I'm okay physically, but I'm emotionally, I I'm drained, I'm stressed. I'm not scared to speak out because I want justice served. This has to stop, end quote. Garrett said she was with her boyfriend, Philip Lightsey, in the car at a red light. When two officers walked up with their guns drawn in her arrest affidavit, those officers allege the vehicle had attempted to evade police, but when they approached, uh, police when they approached the car. Garrett claimed she was driving. The affidavit alleges lights he was driving. And after the officers approached the vehicle, he got into the back seat and Garrett went to the driver's seat. <clears throat> and then an officer used a flashlight. He shattered the driver's window. And eventually, Officer Dylan Korn removed Garrett from the car, accusing her of not complying with orders, according to the affidavit. Now, also in the affidavit, which was written by, of course, Detective Dylan Korn, Garrett was handcuffed after a brief struggle. And she tells News 8 she was shoved against both the car and the cruiser and then kicked to the ground by Officer Korn. She said, I'm already handcuffed. So what was the purpose of all that? Then he got down on one knee and he punched me in the eye here, as she points, which is never going away. I had two black eyes. Uh, Lakeland police officials are rejecting her allegations. They said, based on evidence gathered, the defendant's fabricated claims are an attempt to use media attention to void responsibility for her actions. Um, now, officials tell News 8, Garrett was examined for a single small scrape. Had the defendant experienced the injuries claimed today, she would have required transport to a medical facility for treatment, says a police spokesperson. Um, Officer Korn was cleared of any wrongdoing in an internal administrative justification, I'm sorry, investigation, launched after Garrett filed a complaint. <clears throat> of course he was cleared. Garrett was arrested on several charges, including resisting an officer without violence and possession of cannabis. She was arrested again the next day, on December 21st, 2023, after a search warrant was executed at her apartment by officers, including, you got it, Detective Korn. An affidavit shows police found 346 grams of cannabis, 2.3 grams of Adderall, and drug paraphernalia. 
She says, I don't sell drugs. I don't use drugs. Only drugs I dealt with were when I'm passing them out to my patients at work. She worked as a nurse, but lost her job because of these legal troubles. Now, Garrett was in court for a status conference, and outside approximately a dozen protesters from the Tampa Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression, or TARPER, rallied in support of Garrett. They said, we're here to demand that the charges against her be dropped, said Vicki Tong with the TARPER. She said, we are also here to demand that the cops involved, such as Dylan Korn, be fired and charged. Now, brutality by the police, Lakeland police, it's their M.O., says Pastor Clayton Cowart with the Poor and Minority Justice Association. Pastor Cowart points out that Officer Korn was also involved in the arrest of Antoine Glover, who was seen on cell phone video being punched and tased by Lakeland police in December of 2022. That was the one that was talking about. That's what this whole story is about. Prosecutors dropped the charges against Glover. The pastor said this is a wild animal on the loose and no one seems to want to tame him. <laughs> Referring to Detective Corn, He goes on, this is a matter of morals as well as police training. You can give them all the training in the world. They don't care. They don't. Cops do not care about their police training. Why? They get out here and do whatever they want. Oh, I'm going to slap on the hand and taxpayers have to pay lawsuit. But I know this was a lengthy one, but I wanted to bring it to you because <clears throat> Lakeland, Florida, I've done that before. We've done stories on Lakeland before. And now you got this Detective Corn, who, I mean, if there was one isolated incident of excessive use of force, maybe we could say, okay, the person's complaining, they got arrested. But now you got two. And then it becomes three stories because one of them, Antoine Glover, has two different incidents. So I guess what I'm saying is there seems to be like a pattern of behavior. You know, one isolated incident, like I said, you could say, okay, maybe the cop did the right thing and the person's bitching. But when you've got incident after incident, there's a pattern of behavior there. It's like you type a police detective, Mike Rose. <clears throat> Let me use him as an example. He lives in Clarksville, Tennessee now because we ran him out of the state, I guess. I don't know. I like to claim that. But uh, but it's like him. He, he was saying how this Jimmy, he follows me around and he tries to make me look bad, making videos on me and saying how I do this and I'm a bad person. But then you had a second guy. It was, it was on a YouTube news story. Um, what is the name of that media outlet but where there was another guy that he met in June the guy was wearing a hoodie and he stopped him and said why are you wearing a hoodie in June it's June you're wearing a hoodie uh -uh, I need your ID because I need to know why you're out here boom 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 and he started bullying the guy and it's all it was all on video so my point is now you have two people that were complaining about this Rose so you see that oh there's a pattern of behavior there's a pattern of behavior now. So it's not just isolated to one person. This guy is a bully. And so we come back to this Detective Corn, where they were saying, well, she's just, you know, she was making these allegations and she didn't even go to the hospital to get treated. Come on now. But now you have Antoine Glover. It's no longer an isolated incident. Now it's a pattern of behavior. What do y'all think about that? Let me know.